Hey, welcome back to Thriving New Mom. I just made an Instagram post at Thriving New Mom about my Nana and how I have a backup camera and I wanna explain a little bit more about that. So I will go in depth in this video about my Nana camera, its setup, and why I use a backup. So let's get to it on the Nana camera. Okay, so the Nana camera obviously has a very sleek look on the wall there. That is one of the biggest selling points of the Nana is its very modern look. And of course, the most important feature of all is the apnea monitor where it will alarm and let you know if it notices a pause in your baby's breathing for I think roughly 20 seconds. If you do decide to get the wall mount as part of your bundle, just make sure you know exactly where your crib is gonna go. Once it's mounted on the wall, it is with screws, so therefore it will be a huge challenge to move and also leave holes in your wall. You can buy a floor mount separately. I did do that because I wanted to use the Nanit in my room bedside. So I did buy a floor mount for my Nanit and had it above the bassinet and that worked out really well for us. It easily pops in and out of each of its stands. So floor mount or wall mount, it is really easy to take down. I'll demonstrate that. Literally just pops on and off, super easy. What I also love about the Nana is it doesn't give off any kind of lights that would disturb your sleeping infant. I had a lot of difficulties getting my baby to sleep, so it was really important to me that I didn't have any extra light in the room that would distract him, especially right above his crib. I will go ahead and just show you what it looks like when the lights are turned off. It only has four little red infrared lights that come on when the room is dark. The night vision on this camera is excellent. You can zoom in so close in the app that you can actually see their chest moving while they're breathing at night. Now, if you notice, I do also have a Hello Baby monitor over there in the corner. I am going back to work soon and going to be having other caregivers here to help take care of my son during the day, and they need to be able to have a bedside monitor. However, if you look on the website, you'll see that the annual subscription for a premium membership, which allows a lot of caregivers to access the app it is really expensive more than i had anticipated and so me and my husband decided that just having another portable cheap baby monitor would be a much better option than paying a ridiculous amount for a subscription that we would only use in the event someone else is coming over to help take care of our son because this baby monitor is just a temporary intermittent fix, I decided to just get a compatible clip that would go on the side of the crib. I'll link the one that I got for the Hello Baby down below. Another bonus is this very large screen making seeing your baby very easy. Back to the Nanit. This is also travel compatible. It does actually have a travel base that either will come with your bundle or you will have to purchase separately. However, I don't like that it needs to be on Wi-Fi, and when I'm traveling, I don't really trust the Wi-Fi of the resort or the hotel wherever I am staying. So I actually would prefer to bring a non-Wi-Fi dependent baby monitor if I am traveling. That being said, at home, I know that there's a big stigma between Wi-Fi and baby monitors, and rightfully so. Nanit offers two-factor authentication, so you feel like you're a bit more secure and protected. Personally, I really love the Nanit band setup here. You can use it with any sleep socks that people love. Like this is a kite sleep sock. I also have a Gunamuna sleep sock and this band works well if you have sleeveless arms. If your baby is still in a swaddle, you have to buy Nanit specific swaddles for this product. That's because you can't use this band if their arms are swaddled in. It's a safety risk because this band could start to shimmy up the body. And then next thing you know, it could be blocking their mouth or their face or their nose. But if they have their arms out, this is perfectly safe. I really have enjoyed using it. And I have had no false alarms with this Nana. As long as this band is on tight enough, it will pick up the motion of the breathing really well. A little fun fact, you can buy the Nanit sheets and put your baby in the bed with the Nanit sheets and it will actually measure their length and tell you what percentile they are. So for me, being a mom with a very large baby, it is kind of fun for me to keep up with his percentile lengths and just see how we are still going with the trajectory. So do I love my Nanit? Yes, I do. 
but I do recommend getting a backup baby monitor that you can put in place when you have caregivers coming over to help watch your child. I absolutely love that it tells me he's breathing and okay, that it doesn't give me false alarms. That's really good night vision. I absolutely love that I can take screenshots for my memories. It has two-factor authentication. I absolutely love that I can move it around the house depending on where I need it. Modern sleek look. But again, I do not like the annual subscription price. So get yourself a cheap extra monitor and don't go paying money you don't need to.